Can you please flip your saddle over for me? Okay. Please warn me the next time you make a video. I, look, it just started, it just started happening. It just started happening. Okay, so this is Louisa's saddle. Now, these are long riding saddles and we want them to be able to be used by anyone anywhere in the world at any time and made to fit. I'm gonna go over here because my huge upper body is getting in the way of the sun. Could you please take your pads off and show me the underside of your saddle without the pads on? Show, yep, take it off and show me the other side. Okay, so Louisa has a very uneven horse. That's what the underside of a saddle looks like. How does your horse ride in this compared to an even saddle? He rides good in it. I hope with a bit of training we will get to an even saddle, getting my horse even, but for the moment it helps him to like to, to carry me and the gear even, even, equal, even, even. Use your words. <laughs> so there's people that would give me shit about this, all right? The fact that I've padded out a horse on a long ride with cut up bits of neoprene and yeah, these are Summersby cider, and oh, that's, that's, I got this bastard perfect. Let's not let's not mess with the chi. Um, on a long ride, you have to shim a saddle if you want it to work. You want you've got to you've got to like I mean, how critical is balance? Balance, overall weight, saddle fit, and when you've got an uneven horse, you've got to make things work. So we developed an ultra lightweight saddle that can be shimmed with stubby holders now i'm not going to sell you bits that cost 150 euros to shim it i want you to be able to find bits and pieces that you can make a saddle work with because on the road look where we are in the middle of the bavarian forest we're on a little goat farm you know and we've got happy chilled horses that have smashed out 40ks in five hours and yeah Long riding is not like any other equestrian discipline. Would you agree, darling? I haven't tried much other disciplines, but that's I would. That's because uh, they're dumb. I, 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 I would agree to that. Yeah. All right. But looking at that, you can put your, put your pads back on. But looking at that, I just, I just want all the equestrians out there that are set in their ways with their English saddles and their Western saddles to have a look at what we've had to do to get a saddle perfect. And ask yourself, can you do that with your saddle? And if you want to go long riding, I would be, yeah, I would be careful. I would be careful and I would recommend you get something that you can, you can do this with. It's a game changer for us, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. But, I mean, you guys can see for yourself. We okay, so this is Banditi this year. Let your reins go, Lou. I think that's a pretty good indication of the fitness of the horses and how much they're enjoying the road. It's the morning of day four. This, of course, he's just down, nose down, sniffing everything. The morning of day four, day three, no dramas. That's the worst day on the road. And the morning of day four, we're looking up a, a big hill here. And if we just ask for anything, just straight away, it's there. Steady boy, steady. They are very, very, very happy, very, very fit horses.